Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. So today I am with Mav. Mav, also known as Mavomatics on YouTube and on Instagram. So check out his channel and his page there. I met Mav in, uh, in Mosin, incredible rider. And we were riding last week in uh, around here, around the Pigeon Tower at uh, Rivington. And uh, we were going down a track and I was like, ah, I always screw that corner up. And Mav was like, listen, we need to do an edit and uh, we'll record and we'll kind of do some sessioning and we're going to break a track down that we've chosen here uh, we're going to ride it in sections we're going to try and piece it together work out which are the best lines and the fastest lines and we're going to see if we can improve how we ride this particular track yeah so we've picked one called teflon terror um i think it's on trail forks yeah it's yeah. on strava um so you can come and check the track out as well so let's go and get some So we're just going to make our way over to the track. This isn't the bit we're going to session. This is just kind of like a little intro to get you around the first descent of the day as well. So a little bit rusty. Try and get warmed up a little. Okay. Right, so we're into our first section here. Never really caused any problems this. I mean, it is, it's pretty steep going into it. There's a few rocks on the right hand side. So you're just sort of naturally rolling through. You can probably see there, it's kind of like snakes a little bit essy. Uh, there's a couple of trees on either side. So you've got to piece your way through it. So this bit shouldn't cause us any issues. So we'll see if we can get a nice angle riding down it. Yeah, so expertly demonstrated by Mav there. So straight through and then basically pretty straightforward here. Uh, you've got two compressions which riding at pace become kind of quite nice drops. I think the main challenge here is that um, by the time you're hitting this drop here, you're actually carrying quite a bit of pace from the top. So you can rail this berm here and then it's very slightly uphill or it's certainly flat and there's a couple of little rollers there which kind of like temper your speed a little bit so there's not a huge amount to do in this first section but it's kind of it's not always easy to ride it super fast anything to add to that mav it's just uh, it is a lot easier to just sort of just let go i think Spoken like a true awesome rider. Yeah, if you just let go of your brakes, everything will be fine. <laughs> yeah, look, that's I, I think we've all heard that and we've all we all understand it. You know, it is off the brakes, it's kind of just let the wheels do the thing, let the tires grip. Uh, you know, as soon as you're applying braking pressure to a tire, you're asking it to do something that it's not meant to do. Tires and wheels are meant to roll, that's what they want to do. So the minute you're applying too much braking force, you're actually forcing the tire to do something it doesn't really want to do so letting it roll through definitely helps in this section so we're going to push up a little bit we're going to rail through that corner i'm going to get some footage of my railing through there right so we've uh, yeah we've dealt with this beautiful burn uh really fun bit to ride that it's just it feels incredible and if you get into this section in the dry it also feels pretty damn good so once you've kind of dispersed with these routes um yeah you've got an s bend i think there's a fun line and a fast line <laughs> um the fast line potentially my, my may or may not disagree is kind of like if you can hop over this initial route that we can see here you can pretty much straight line, straight line it. it yeah so possibly the faster line but obviously it's a, harder line. it's a harder line particularly in the wet and obviously you kind of miss the fun of riding that berm <laughs> so and um, the berm tends to throw you a little bit to the left so you tend to you tend to start railing that berm quite early because of these routes here um you're doing a very exaggerated zigzag to get through the s bend fast line is potentially straight through Do you want to show us that fast line, Mav? Give it a go. Yeah. Have you suggested Mav just does it? <laughs> and uh, and then we've just started <laughs> we just started chatting about it. It's actually pretty tech. Um, whoa! So I've just nearly died on a rock. There's a lot going on. So you can see there, it's quite quite heavy compression coming, and then you've got to sort of flick over this route, and then you've kind of got a sort of another route garden. Sorry, another route garden to deal with there as well. So 
definite faster line in the wet it would be pretty sketchy you'd be risking sort of flipping your wheels out and maybe hitting that tree you want to try and push into it and in the drive but, like, but i've got right. faith that i've got absolute <laughs> faith that mav can totally nail this he's my crash okay. test dummy <laughs> <laughs> <Let's hold up. laughs> Oh, lovely. <laughs> Gonna get that again. Looking cool. <laughs> right, so I'm not gonna hit it quite as hot as Mav did. I'm hoping to still get the same line though. Whoa! <laughs> that feels very frightening because of the trees. Yeah, it is quick though, isn't it? All right, cool. So that's all the fun stuff done. <laughs> <laughs> now we get into the, the real tacky bits. So, yeah, Mav, talk us through these bits, mate. You'll see, just in your left there, you've got one line there, just about, you can see it. Obviously the main line is the right line. Well, one on with it. But it is a slower corner towards the end. Bit technical as well, you've got these roots to deal with. Well, about half a foot drops, but it's not rollable. But it's quite slow though, going into that right under. Yeah, there's an awful lot going on and when you're trying to slow down for that corner. So, um, yeah, so you've kind of got another berm there. So, and it's, uh, it's a fairly steep section. Now you can see where Mav is there, it's kind of, it falls away pretty damn quick. And then there's not there's a bit of a catch burn there and then it, it's just kind of nagery from then on as well so uh, and you can see there's quite a lot of route going on here so i think my quickest line here is where mav stood you can kind of just drop off that log so why don't you ride the slow line for us and then we can uh, we'll take a run down the fast line yeah all good It's technical still because of the amount of route that's on it and in the wet it's you know your back wheel's going to be skipping so this is the harder line and I think potentially because you're just more committed it's definitely faster one thing I have noticed here is if you can kind of ride as left if you can really commit and send you can get you can avoid all that web of routes and you can come into this line and then just ride the berm through not easy I mean full commitment, that. for that's full commitment and you've got to set yourself up quite high for it. It's not a huge gap, it's just normally I, I would... This is setting up for this yeah. section. Yeah, I think I would normally just sort of pootle off there and then cope with these, cope with the routes and then ride through, which is still way faster than that line, but I think the really committed line is to set up high, drop in and then try and just really rail that corner. <laughs> this is so interesting because we've just now, as we've got up here, to set up to kind of like almost hit the grass on the left hand side you're setting up high on those routes there to really rail that corner i mean it's got my anxiety going through the roof but it's definitely the faster line if you wanted to kind of ride that faster so i'm going to give it a little try drop in now give us a go <laughs> any line choices Yeah, that works. Okay, attempt number two. High through there. Yeah, so we both agreed. Um, we've um, we both agreed that that is the faster line, and, and neither of us have ever spotted it before. No. Um, and it feels it feels really good when you get it right. Yeah. So um, we're coming through your next section. Probably maybe doesn't come across much on the camera, but super nudgery, very rooty. There's obviously you can see the line straight through the middle of the trees there. It's super tight. Roots going in every direction, not the direction just you know perpendicular to your wheels. So we basically got this kind of like root steps. One, two, th three steps if you like. The way we normally ride it is kind of I think is down that side, get ourselves into that little berm there, and then try and rail around and avoid the tree which if i show you quickly has clearly been struck very many times by people's bars 
so that's yeah back up so you can see now the sort of what we're dealing with doesn't really feel like there's a naturally good way to go the only thing we we have sort of had a quick look at is uh increasing the risk factor by about 600 <laughs> <laughs> percent so there is potentially this kind of like proper straight line over here from here it doesn't look too bad from the bottom it looks pretty horrendous you've obviously you're hugging that tree so we're just lining up this line here but it, it it feels like i don't know it feels pretty high risk it's very close to the so tree and then if you come up so if your elbows are out as well if you come out in in your attack position with any kind of speed gonna... into this section you know you're very sort of hitting that tree potentially i don't know i feel like what with the line i've got through there is for me is the one that i would always take yeah if the main line is the one Surface. Are we satisfied with that? I mean, if you're a pretty gnarly dude, you could gap it all, but we're not. We're not we're you're a gnarly dude. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> they look alright. Your name, buddy? Caden Brophy. We found Caden in the woods, and he's um, he's trying to get his mates to do this river gap, which is pretty bloody tasty. Let me tell you, it's got to be. What, three, two and a half bike lengths? Three bike lengths? There's Are you doing it on film, Caden? What? Are you doing it on film? Yeah, right. Fair play, mate. Caden's got my chesty. He's uh, he's confirmed that he's done this at least 15 times, so I'm, uh, I'm trusting that he's not gonna hurt himself. Ready when you are, kid? All right, let's get it done. Again. Oh yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> Nice work, Caden! So this is the corner that started the whole conversation idea around trying to do some practicing and sessioning. You can see it's a pretty janky corner. It's kind of naturally bermed, but the berm is also very, very, there's a lot going on. By the time I get to this bit here, where I'm having to drop down this rock, I seem to have lost all my speed completely. I would normally come in here and stick left, and then by the time I've hit that corner, having to scrub any speed badly, because there's roots everywhere. And then it's when I get down to this drop section here that it kind of all, it all goes wrong and I've not got enough uh, speed to really send into kind of into that gap and then carry speed around that corner. So, but I'm thinking, um, if I can come high off where Mav stood, if I can come high off that and then maybe find my front wheel into that gap between the rock and the root and then not worry too much about that root there and try and rail that berm, I might just come in with a little bit more speed. I'm going to give it a go. Yeah, so you saw yeah. like everything that could go wrong there did go wrong? Yeah. Kind of like stopped, but kind of better. I can go inside outside. That's it. That's it. You can just dig your front wheel in way better way better second attempt that felt better so we're into the next section here we've got to kind of swing around this corner uh, into this rut and then you threw kind of quite a sharp we've just rebuilt that up a little bit, a bit just a, to a we filled a few gaps in just to try and make the compression a little bit better and then you're off through and then it starts to get a little bit easier from here and then you've got quite a high speed section here i think really it's off the rock and stay left or hit it as straight as you can through here bank right Just try and stay high and skim over these rocks because it's very easy to kind of start to fade towards this tree rest of it from there on should be fairly straightforward <laughs> that felt really good through there. Well, nice. I've, that's the fastest I've rolled that for ages. Yeah. I think I've got confidence from what we've done today. 
Right, so here we are, we're back on the mound. Um, we're just about to drop into this track and we're going to try and piece it all together. I don't think we're going to go for, you know, downhill, world's fastest record run. We're just going to try and see if we can remember the lines. Yeah, um, that's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah. It all. Going slow to, because we're basically relearning this entire track, essentially, with what we think are better lines. So, yeah, it's going to be a bit a bit of a slow but hopefully we'll remember where we uh the bits that we've learned and we'll uh, we'll get on with it so we'll see you at the bottom okay mate after you see if we remember any, see of, this, can remember any of this yeah absolutely <laughs> Still went into there a little bit faster though. I think we decided that that was just ridden this. Yes, that felt awesome. Oh. Oh. Keep it high. Yep. Hey. Oh, I always lose a bit there. <laughs> So scared of those trees. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, you know, mindful challenge, whatever you want to call it, as an experiment that I've definitely never rode that track that fast. Definitely not. That was way quicker. I lost Mav on the last section coming through those trees where it's so tight. I've hit that tree a few times, and I, you sort of got to just pop over these yeah, roots, and I was a bit. You do get very close to that. Very trees. close to the tree, I mean, so I I'm... backed off there. But the rest of it, I've rode behind Mav down that track a few times. I've never really been able to keep up with him, so it's almost like by assessing the track now, it's almost like even the level, even the playing field a little bit. Certainly, it's you know, it's made me quicker through there for sure. Probably easier following Mav's lines as well. He, he had all the kind of work to do in <laughs> yeah, remembering remember the line choices, like... whereas I was like getting indicators off you, so. That felt rapid. I mean, for, for me, for sure, that felt rapid. So that's been a really good fun day. That really enjoyed that. I'll definitely do that again on some other tracks and let us know in the comments if that's been interesting. Um, maybe it's something that wherever you are in the country, you know, uh, try yourself. If there's a track that's bugging you, it literally came from me saying, I'm sick of riding this corner slow. That's where this entire edit came from. And we've ended up now piecing an entire track together quicker than we ever have done before. So anything yeah. to add, Mav? No. Had a good day, mate. Had a good day. Yeah. Subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Check Mav's uh, channel out as well. Mav's got some quality videos up as well, and he's uh, he's very active on Instagram. So I'll put links below to his channel and stuff down there. And expect to see him again very soon on this channel. So, right, guys, we'll catch you soon. See you later.